urban hunger is a lot like suburban and rural. The geography may be the same, but the people are a lot alike. Like the case of Nikki, the young girl who steals a little extra from the lunchroom to ensure that her little brother and sister have something to eat at night. Or Margot, the single mother who has to choose between rent and electricity or food on the table for her babies. And finally, Jose. Jose seem seemingly could never really keep a job, but he was able to pick up on and odd and end gigs here and still couldn't scrape up a living wage. It's this narrative that Nikki, Margot, and Jose, as if it's their fault that they're hungry, that they're the weaklings of society, and that it's something that they did to put themselves in this situation that keeps us stuck. I mean, but do you even know what I mean when I say hunger, right? You may have fasted for your personal reasons or religious reasons, right? And maybe your mind wasn't right while you're going through the process, so you got really hungry and angry at the same time. I like to call that hangry. When you don't eat, you can't think. When you don't eat, you can't function. And when you don't eat, you can't live. But even that experience that you feel of hunger when you haven't eaten in a long time, just imagine that coupled by the feeling of anxiety of not knowing when you'll ever be able to eat again. And you'll begin to do unrational things. And so you don't tell someone to pick themselves up by their bootstraps who doesn't even have boots in the first place. We have to change the narrative. We've been treating people as if they're transactions. Pounds in and pounds out. Pounds before people. Statistics before people. People are not numbers. People are beings that have feelings that are real, and it is real complex. And I look at there being four core pillars to household stability. It's food, health, housing, and employment. If you don't have food, you can't think and function. If you don't have housing, you can't expect someone to show up on the job and give 100%. If you don't have health care, you can't really expect someone to perform at their peak. And if you're not employed, you can't expect to bring in an income and for the rest of your house to be stabilized. So it's when we begin to work in concert with one another that anything becomes possible. And together we can change the world.